all right my dear so in this video we're going to talk about uh, designation of represent because that is important okay so, okay so here we got uh, one of the designation that is saturated hydrocarbon remember my dear uh, we have to put concentration on these things if you are preparing for complete examination because already this type of question asked in gate SSCJ or other complete examination I don't know from which country you are belonging but yes if you are from India then probably you have heard about these examinations because these are quite popular and there are millions of students write these examinations okay so let's get, uh, let's get started so if we got saturated hydrocarbon all right suppose that I mean we have an example of R134 as a saturated hydrocarbon represent now if i wanted to convert if i wanted to convert this into its chemical its chemical elements with their desired quantities then how it would be possible for me as well as for you okay so let's get started how it can be possible so you not we need to remember three things you need to remember three thing, three things for this first of all you need to remember your formula r m minus one n plus one p another formula n plus p plus q is equal to 2m plus 2 another c m h n f p c l q this one is also useful in other designation of represent but these two are only applicable for saturated hydrocarbon remember that my dear well r134 is a eco-friendly represent which i will share in different video all right so here we got another we got another saturated hydrocarbon represent and we are going to i mean i am going to share with you how we can convert it into a, its chemical elements name suppose that we got r11 if we are getting represent which is having only two numbers then what i have to do i have to add a zero in the in this side only that means if I will compare all these numbers with this one, then what we got m minus 1 is equal to 0 and then n plus 1 is equal to 1 and then p is equal to 1. Then what we got m is equal to 1, n is equal to 0 and then p is equal to as it is 1. Got it my dear? so what you have to do we have to compare with its standard formula that's why you can get its all elements values now what you have to do we have to put all values in the second formula here what we got n equal to zero if we will put all these values in the second formula then what we are going to get here just what we have to do we have to find out all uh, values of these terms we got m is equal to how much we got n is equal to how much but we don't know what is the value of q for that we have to put all these values in this equation that's why i have already shared with you to find out or to convert these type of names into chemical elements names we need to know all these three formula at least in case of saturated hydrocarbon all right so let's go for this right so what we got here n is equal to how much zero n plus p is equal to one q equal to we need to find out two into one plus two so q is equal to 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 right my dear so what is the chem and now it's easy we need to just put values in this equation so what is the value of m 1 n 0 f 1 cl 3 so the chemical name for this r11 would be c f cl 3 now if 
you will ask me is this a eco friendly refrigerant then i will say no this is not a eco friendly refrigerant because you know uh, because we got chlorine atom here and chlorine having capacity to deplete uh, depletes ozone layer which is situated in the stratosphere that's why this is not a eco friendly refrigerant that's why these days you cannot see in the back side of your refrigerator that uh, they are using R11 as their refrigerant because it's not a eco friendly refrigerant even few uh, countries government ban or to use this kind of refrigerant in domestic purpose i hope you understand uh, something from this video thanks for watching hope to see you again in my next video bye bye